In this video, we'll show you the villas at Brightmoor, a brand new community in Welland Park, Florida. And this is a really cool area because number one, you're minutes from the brand new downtown. Phase two of it is just starting, but there's already lots of shops and restaurants. Go with a nice brick here. And you're minutes from beaches. You're talking about a 20-ish minute drive to, to the beaches, Gulf Coast beaches, beautiful turquoise waters. Look at that. You can find prehistoric shark Pretty teeth cool. on the beaches. This is a nice. little sitting area. And this is your garage. Two car garage, really big. It does have a lot of uh, space for shelving. And you're also only minutes away from downtown historic, historic downtown Venice, Florida with all their shops and restaurants. And Venice in general has a lot of great restaurants throughout the city. In fact, in the description below, we'll link you to videos with our favorite restaurants in Venice, and we have one for Welland Park. Really nice den here with the window again. Look at all the floating shelves. Nice touches with the woodwork too, and it kind of stretches up to the ceiling. That's yeah. a cool look. Glass doors for the French doors. Very cool, and you have all the woodwork out here as well. And coming back in here, you're right away on the right. You've got yourself a bedroom. Now, again, keep in mind as we go throughout this home, this is a villa. I like the window being here for some natural light. So, you know, if you want something a little less maintenance, maybe a smaller home, but still to feel like a home, generally with a villa, you're only going to share a wall or maybe two walls to the sides of you. This one, one wall. And that's nice for, you know, if you're trying to have that real retired, relaxed lifestyle, or even if you're not looking to retire, but in this one you would probably be because it is a 55 and up community. And even though we say a smaller home um, with a villa, you're still, you still have a 1500 square foot home. So it is smaller than your typical homes, but we have seen homes that size as well. Yeah. And even smaller, honestly, for some homes. So yes. And this is a two bed plus flex room, two bath, two car garage home, 1,574 square feet home. Nice space here. Again, for a villa, I mean, this is a lot of living space. Lots of windows. And then you have the pantry with the glass insert. Good size. Shelving. Yeah. yeah Cabinets. Well. And the urn handler. Ooh, they cut that close. <laughs> Got a little storage in here though. That is nice. You don't always get that with those closets that have the air handler in them. Island is a good space. Really nice kitchen. Lots of cabinet and corner space. The backsplash is like gray with a little bit of a almost blue clay tint to it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, they show in there, they got four bar stools by the island. So quite a bit of space for seating, cabinets, counters, all that. It's a good, 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 good space in here. And the dining room area is pretty decent too yet. I mean, could have even went with a longer table and they, I mean, they still got room to spare with that. Yeah. You could even add like a little bar on that wall mm -hmm. and the living room. It's, it's big. It's a good yeah. size. Yeah. It's definitely uh mad me. Yeah. The, you know, the, the layout and the size of, of the living rooms and a lot of them are very similar to this, at least on, on the models that are around this square footage and nice wallpaper it almost looks like it has texture to it but it actually does not and the primary bedroom very nice and cozy love the colors in here mm -hmm. and it's big yes big nightstands and a little room to spare to the sides pretty cool with the floating shelf and the wood paneling behind the bed and nice touches with the different color molding on the tray ceiling there. Very, very cool. And two-tone paint on the walls also. And again, wood trim there too in between. So that's, you know, little touches like that give a place that's some character and some nice upgrades you're not going to get everywhere necessarily. Big water closet. Yes. 
And you have the linen closet on the other side. Like the gray colored cabinets? Yeah, really nice. Double vanities. We've got the wood paneling in here as well. Actually, and look at those baseboards too. Those are nice and tall baseboards. And the glass. Glass tiling in the shower. They brought it all the way to the ceiling, which is nice. That is a good look. And the flooring's pretty neat too. Walk-in closet is nice and big. Lots of room in here. Yeah, really good size. And coming on back, we'll take you to the back lanai area. And yeah, we're also not that far here from Sarasota. Like if you want more big city amenities and big city feel, you're talking about, you know, it depends. Anyway, I'd say 30 to maybe 45 minutes, depending on what end of Sarasota you're trying to get to. But UTC got shopping galore. The downtown of Sarasota has got a little bit more of a big city feel. World famous Siesta Key Beach. You have St. Edmund Circle as well. And also Tampa is about a, an hour, hour and a half away. Fort Myers, about an hour and a half away as well. For big city amenities, um, Orlando for the parks, about two and a half hours away. So it's a good central location. Should we see the next one? Let's do it. Next model is Champagne. Similar outside, it's connected to the other one, but interior is different. And this is a two bed plus flex, two bath, two car garage, 1,754 square feet. And as you can see, this is different, right? Side. So you got a little more of a walkway into the home. And it's a long walkway. Yes. So you'll see what's behind those walls there. Pretty cool door with the glass inserts. And as you come in, there is the den. And I really like this den. It just has the one door. You could easily turn it into a bedroom. And there is a window here. Yeah. Yeah, let's get a wardrobe in here and now you got your closet or a dresser and it is a den by technicality but you still have the square footage and this one is a little bit bigger than the first one the first one was 1574 square feet this is 1754 square feet i like the floating shelves that's a nice touch not included but very cool <laughs> and the cabinets in this one are that hunter green which looks very very nice especially with the whites yeah i like that they got the two-tone thing going on mm -hmm. seeing that in more and more new model homes this is a really big open space i like it a lot i like how they use the square footage here that backsplash is really really cool yeah very nice cabinets got lighting underneath them got a little bar here for like a coffee bar and to this side you have the pantry walking pantry big space there yes laundry room cabinets above but also this is unique so it kind of connects you can see here you and you don't see this in a lot of homes. You got a big closet here. So keep note of this. We'll come back to that in a second. And then right here, you've got another, like a sort of a linen closet or storage closet, I guess, however you decide to use it. You also have this big closet right in front of the bathroom. Got a nice looking wood look tile in this home. Shower with, again, I like the gold accents, yes. gold shower head. Especially with the green, it looks really nice. Coming back over here. Air handler. And a little room to spare. You could actually store some stuff in there. Yes. And garage. And this is, you know, a little different than some of the other garages that we've done in this community. And 
as always, call, text, or email our team, 941-221-1897. If you kind of want to get a better feel for what else is out there, maybe you like this builder but don't like the community or the location, or maybe you want to see different kinds of homes, then we can help you find what you're looking for. Over in this corner here, you got a lot of extra space for storage. Yeah, this is a good little um, area to put a lot of storage. It's out of the way and... Got another bedroom here. Good space. Windows, couple of them in the corner here for some natural light to come in. Closet. Pretty standard size there. And then we'll come back to the main living area. Again, take note of this little closet here. But in the living area, you got a good space for your dining room table. Again, look at all the windows. Yeah. Lots of windows, lots of natural light. Pretty good sized living room area. A little bit wider than the last model. Look at all the touches behind the, the TV, the TV here on the wall. wall. Yeah. Different colors, you know, different woodwork. Really different cool. Different textures. It seems very um, like 3D. Mm -hmm. We'll take you out to that one in a second, but so here's your primary bedroom, right? Big space, sneaky big. It doesn't seem big maybe, but it's just because it's so wide. Yeah. And it's actually long as well. But because it's so wide, it doesn't maybe necessarily seem that way. Big window, lots of natural light, nice touches on the wall there, with all the woodwork. It's feeling it's like a little green hint to it. Mm -hmm. Crown molding looks very nice. And yeah, I mean, look, those are big nightstands and lots of room to the sides. So that should tell you how big this is. And then double vanities, shower, similar look to, you know, all the tiling and things like that to the others. Yes. Linen. Linen closet, water closet. And then this is the next thing that's unique. I think we've only seen this in one other model and from David Weekly. And it's having your primary bedrooms. First of all, the closet is huge. This is probably the, one of the biggest walk-in closets we've seen like this. But then it connects to your laundry room area, which is super convenient. And there is a pocket door here that's not installed, but that way you can close off the closet. Yeah, so super, I think that's functional and convenient for like, okay, you got to do your laundry. You take a couple steps over and you're right there. But you still kind of get that area towards the front of the house too for everyone else and your you know, all the other people that want to use it. And then coming on out to the lanai, good space here, overhang. For yeah, straight. really good space. But having the extended lanai helps too. And as you can see with the tables and stuff, you know, it gives you a sense for how much room there is out here to have stuff and fit people. And a nice water view. If you want to learn more about Welland Park, make sure to check out this video right here. To learn more about Venice, check out this video right here. And make sure to subscribe, turn all notifications on and leave breezy. breezy.